I wanted to quickly show you why you're having a problem with this uh, mobile view and, and these things lining up. Um, the reason being is because this was built as kind of these one text boxes and what we need to do is divide these all into their own text boxes so that you have more control over how they're placed and the spacing and stuff between them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually right click on this and duplicate. That's also command D on a Mac I think it is. Um, so basically what I'm doing is I'm duplicating it so I have one with all the stuff on it and then I'm going to delete out so I have basically this one and then I'm going to do the same thing with this duplicated one. I'm going to get rid of um, the one that I already have and I'll, I'll build this into its own box. Now I'm going to duplicate this again. Let's do this um, so I can erase all this. We'll do the same thing here. We'll get rid of this first one. And um, I'm going to duplicate this one more time because there's one last one. We'll delete this. And then we'll have this. So now I have all these boxes and they're individual, so I can kind of uh, move them around. I can also, if you shift select each one and click on one by holding the shift bar, um, that'll allow you to select multiple ones. Then you can use this little align tool here over in your bar to kind of make everything consistent. Um, you can also select these behind boxes, same thing, just kind of do a center on them to make sure they look good. And then you can adjust them here as desired. Then in the mobile editor, you'll find that now you have a lot more control over these boxes, how big they are. You can make these boxes different sizes. You can move all these. Um, oops, that's the one I haven't fixed yet, but. Um, you can get all these individual boxes and then move them into place. Um, so another little trick in this mobile editor is if you click on settings, you can come here and you have exact control over the size so you can make them all consistent. Um, I usually like to make it 12 or 13 um, as a good size, So, uh, but it's totally up to you guys. If you want it larger, you can make it larger as well. Um, but same thing on each one of these. I like to just go through and make them all consistent. You don't have control over any of the text editing or anything in this, but you can control the size of the box as well as the size of the font. Um, you can even change the font color if you wanted it to be a different color, although it will carry over. Um, I'm going to undo that. It's going to carry over the coloring that is already set up in the desktop version, so you don't really need to worry too much about that. Another thing you can do with these boxes is you can resize these um, in the mobile so that if it looks a little differently, a little different, you can certainly size them to um, as desired. So to get into the mobile editor, um, you just want to switch it back and forth. So you guys have already kind of learned that, I believe. But just so you know, if you're in the desktop editor, you just want to click up here on mobile. That'll take you to the mobile view. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing with this. I'm going to duplicate these and delete out the extra stuff and uh, go through the same process so these are each boxes. And then I'll go into the mobile editor and start realigning everything and making sure it looks good. So I'm going to finish doing this, but I just wanted to give you guys a quick tutorial on why that was occurring. Um, and now that I've that I'm breaking these out into their own um, boxes, this shouldn't really be an issue going forward. But let's say you wanted to add a new one. Same thing, you just want to right click on it and duplicate. You can pull that down and you can add a new quote as desired. Um, and if you want this box, you can do the same thing. You can e also copy and paste. So I can go to copy, oops, sorry, copy and then paste. Um, that's pasting because this text box isn't as pasting the whole thing. I can delete that out. I can move this here. I can resize it. I can also send it to back by right clicking on it. Um, on a Mac, it's uh, option, I'm sorry, control quick click. Um, and you come here to arrange and you can send things to back or bring things forward if things are overlapping. So um, that's another little trick. So you can add additional things down the road. But I'm going to go ahead and delete this. Um, but that's, that's that. So let me know if you guys have any other questions with the mobile editor or this desktop, but I'm going to clean up this client experience page so that each of these are their own text box and that will give us a lot more control over mobile. And I will also 
streamline and clean up the mobile view so that it looks good there as well. And that way um, you guys are all good going forward, but you can certainly add things down the road and you know now how to make those adjustments as needed. Thanks.